there is a small shift of the peak towards the left as one would expect if the farming energy moved in. Okay? And there is no sign of correlation induced satellite here. Every feature here is explainable in terms of band structure calculation and a rigid shift of the Fermi energy. <coughs> if there was such a strong correlation induced satellite in the occupied part, you would expect stronger correlation induced satellite in the unoccupied part. But the unoccupied part is exactly describable by band structure calculation. And this is a completely unexpected result because if you take any homogeneous model, Hubbard model would be one of those models, or any variation of that, and you do calculation of whatever sort, you will not find a situation when you have very small number of electrons that you get strong correlation in the satellite in the occupied part and no satellite in the unoccupied part. To convince you, I'll show you. A second order perturbation calculation from a single band Hubbard model. First of all, there is a band structure calculation of our supercell strontium titanate with oxygen vacancies. The Fermi energy is here, this is the density of states which corresponds to u by w equal to 0, the correlation strength is 0. The small amount of electrons doped, as you can see, the Fermi energy is inside the finite density of states. Start with that one and switch on correlation in a second order sense, and so u by w is small enough to do that. You find that these sharp spectral features broaden a bit, which of course comes from the real part of the self energy correction. But <coughs> there's no satellite that you see in the occupied part. Remember, this this part is the occupied spectroscopy, probed by occupied spectroscopy. There's absolutely no satellite. But in the unoccupied part, which is this part of the energy, you start to see a correlation satellite. So if anything, correlation induced satellite must show up first in the unoccupied part before it does in the occupied <coughs> part, which is exactly reverse of what we see expected. This told us that there is no homogeneous <coughs> model that can explain such observations. Now, what is the reason inhomogeneity is coming? This is one thing that has not been realized for a long time. When we talk about electron doping or hole doping in a compound, you do not take a syringe and inject electron or holes into the compound, but you do some chemical substitution. You either pull out strontium, put in lanthanum, or pull out lanthanum, put in strontium, or you create oxygen vacancies. So basically, you are tampering with the lattice. <coughs> and you are introducing inhomogeneity into the lattice, or disorder into the lattice. Because lattice is no more exactly periodic translational invariance does not remain anymore when you make this chemical substitution. So you introduce inhomogeneities. What is the consequence of this inhomogeneity? It turns out that we <coughs> can study this inhomogeneity under certain, or this kind of disorder, in certain limiting conditions. It is easy to see that there are two different lengths in at which this chemical substitution induced inhomogeneity can show up. One is the extreme limit that you are trying to make lanthanum strontium titanate, but it fails separated into lanthanum titanate rich region and strontium titanate rich region. So that's called macroscopic inhomogeneity. If you have a macroscopic inhomogeneity, then it's fairly straightforward to model it theoretically. What you then say that you try for an electron density of n, let us say. Okay, in the case of lanthanum strontium titanate, for example. Suppose it phase separated it into if one amount of lanthanum titanate and one minus <coughs> is one amount of strontium titanate like lithium. Then, of course, this is then has to be satisfied that total number of electrons doped is equal to the portion that has become lanthanum titanate multiplied by one, which is the number of electrons in the insulating state. Lanthanum titanate has one d electron, and this is a portion that is the metallic state one minus f one and the concentration of slightly doped 